the group supported projects like raising educational achievement and also emotional intel intelligence uh, through the Hansworth Association of Schools. Uh, the project really aimed at raising educational attainment because it's important to give young kids of today the chances they need in life. The peer mediation um, was an innovative approach to overcome bullying and that was recognised nationally. Well, listening is, most, is the most important skill that a mediator should have, but usually it's cooperation, working together. Well, sometimes people are arguing about the equipment, who got what, and like, when people come in, um, they talk about the things that um, somebody's talk or things like that. Jay, please can you tell me your side of the story? Well, I was on the playground and I wanted to play with Abbas and my friends. So I went over to Abbas and asked him could I play in the game and he told me no, so I pushed him. So what you're saying is, your friends are playing with Abbas's friends, so you asked Abbas if you could play and he said no, so you got angry and pushed him? Yes. Abbas, how are you feeling? Outraged. Jade, how are you feeling? Upset. Abbas, do you understand how Jade is feeling? Yes. Jay, do you understand how Abbas is feeling? Do you know how you could solve this problem? We could get another person on, onto one team and put Jade onto the other team. Jay, can you think of a way to solve the problem? Well, next time I want to play a game, not to push people, just to tell me now. Would you like to shake hands or say sorry? Say sorry. Sorry, Jade. Sorry, Abbas. Please come again if you have a problem and thank you. My name's Anita Harding and I'm the project manager for the REAP project. That stands for Raising Educational Attainment and Achievement. And it, it aimed to not deliver what was already going on in mainstream schools, but to build upon the activities. It, it had three key areas. One was actually trying to have a range of activities that raised attainment. The second um, theme was overcoming barriers to learning and the third theme was our parents and family learning activities. What I've learnt today is um, all the different sort of exercises you can do without going to the gym, without spending so much money uh, working together with your children. Exercises against the wall, exercises on the floor where we don't usually tend to do these sort of exercises. It's been a whole different new experience. If I discuss our overcoming barriers to learning. Here what we tried to do was to build upon a new team that the government was funding, the learning mentors who came into schools four years ago. Their role was to work particularly with children who have behavioural um, or attendance issues and try and get children more involved. Well, what we did was we had a number of activities here to enskill those mentors to do a better job in school. We had um, a moving on up transition project where mentors from the primary school went into secondary schools and supported children they were particularly concerned about. My name is Bria and welcome to our moving on up project. Most children find moving from primary school to secondary school easy, but some have big problems. These problems can be bullying, finding work hard, playing tig and tag with your friends or just making new friends instead, getting used to teachers for different lessons, moving classrooms a lot, it can be very hard climbing all those stairs, oh, I'm tired already, getting used to lots of homework. The project involves are primary school mentors. My name's Ken Brown from Wellfoot Primary School. And since I've been working with Paminda, um, she started to show some improvement and starting to settle down in school. My main problem is making friends and keeping them. Education Training Theme Group was an urban digital project. This was a small project, but it just really highlights the sort of creative talent that exists in North West Birmingham. It was a small project based within Hansworth Library um, and entailed um, the purchasing of um, web-based uh, resources uh, which would be there in the library from now on uh, so people can access those resources post SLB 6. 
but he provided a training course and one of the results of this has been a number of people have started to take up creative arts as a potential employment or self-employment sector. So we wanted to do a, a digital arts project so we've got four strands to it, filmmaking, um, graphic design, web design and photography uh, so that we're building up the skills within um, the area, providing equipment, hardware and software for people to edit or use Photoshop or set up their own websites uh, and then we can use it to um, promote and market events that take place in the library as well. DAL was an innovative pilot project developed for SRB6 residents. We delivered customised training in fenestration installation. The training was delivered through Shellforce, which is Birmingham City Council supported employment factory, um, and the training centre was built at the site in Erdington. My name is Jermaine Carter and I'm a window fitter for James Pearsons. I was unemployed before I started the DAL project. The Northwest Skills Centre will also be another key legacy from the SRB6 programme and this is going to deliver a high quality vocational skills training centre within Northwest Birmingham. This will mean that local people will have access to quality vocational skills and it will give them a better footing to get jobs in the future in the new growth areas within the city. Well, the Northwest Skills Academy will uh, lift the levels of schools in the general area. It will provide local people with access to jobs in growing areas such as motor vehicle, construction, sport. It will also provide community facilities because when the college isn't using it at weekends and during the evening and nights then we're going to let it out to community groups. And it will leave a beautiful and iconic building there which uses all the new technologies in terms of ecology, it will, be, uh, it will have a zero carbon footprint, it has a living wall there, it has photovoltaic cells and it reuses rainwater and drain water so it's a, it's a beautiful building and it's a very sustainable building. The main aim for Northwest City Jobs is to get local people into local jobs. The idea of the employment hubs is to work with businesses, local businesses, to eliminate their hassle from a recruitment campaign that they will do either themselves or through employment agencies and add value by um, assisting them with customised training programmes. Um, and finally, we work with uh, local organisations who refer people to us. So, Over the last year, Northwest City Jobs as a whole have engaged with over a hundred businesses, a hundred employers, um, of which 60 have been purely within the SRB6 area. But when we're working with a business, we find out what their needs are, what they're looking for in an employee, and then a training program is designed specifically for that business, such as um, an example I can give you is Subway. Northwest City Jobs, which is funded by SRB6, helped me to recruit 18 uh, new employees at our store in Hansworth Soho Road with um, no cost to myself for advertising or training. Um, they arranged a bespoke training for them prior to them coming for, to us for an interview. Northwest City Job gave me a training, a two-day course training like food and hygiene and tourism. I got my qualification from Northwest City Job and the course was beneficial. Um, we've been successfully working with Northwest City Jobs for the past year or so to fill some of our most difficult to fill posts. We've had support with marketing of our vacancies and we've had lots and lots of support um, and in particular some great applicants that have been provided by the partnership um, and we've been able to fill some of those very difficult to fill posts. Well, when you look at over 750 people who have accessed employment, I think that's a great in, in itself because if a project can do that, is to get people out from the local area and get them into a job, that's great. I think if that's not happened before and we have done that, I think that's great for us and a great achievement.